Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, <laughs> Hill Farmstead time again. I got an amazing beer mail package from uh, my man Jeff and he hooked up some Hill Farmstead and I'm fucking so stoked. Their beers have just been nothing short of amazing. Every single one of them. Every single one of them have, have been world class. It's insane. Crazy. So uh, this is a new beer to me. I love checking out new beers. I don't know if they've... He had sent a note. I, I don't know if they had not canned this beer before and this is kind of a new thing for them. I'm not sure. But um, this is Edward. I just... Their label art is so clean and so awesome. I just... I love it. Um, and this is a pretty can. 5.2% alcohol by volume, American Pale Ale. Um, Hill Farmstead, Greensboro, Greensboro, Ben, Vermont. I thought it was just Greensboro, Vermont. It's Greensboro, Ben. I've been saying Greensboro this whole time. Um, it has this whole thing about Edward um, was Sean Hill's grandfather. And this is a beer you'd want to brew and drink with him. Um, it just says, uh, let's see here. Pale Ale's dutifully crafted from American malted barley, a plethora of American hops, ale yeast, and water from Edwards Well. That's cool. I love it. So, uh, don't know much else about this beer. I just, I think it's probably going to be fucking amazing. <laughs> uh, canned on September 22nd. I just, time of recording, four days old. How is that? It makes no sense. I don't know how it got from Vermont to Southern California in three days it's crazy and this beer again just it's absolutely beautiful when you pour it my goodness it's glowing uh hill farm said how are you so good at everything <laughs> yeah this is like that hazy lemonade it's light it's just it's I, oh i love it finger of bright white head um, this one's kind of sudsy but look out it just it looks amazing just respect how nice that looks <laughs> So, American Hops, it says. I have no idea what it is. Pale Ale, 5.2%. Shiver knows in it. Ooh, this kind of smells like... This smells old school to me. It smells old school, sort of West Coast Pale Ale. Um, when I say West Coast Pale Ale, I mean West Coast brewery kind of hops. Um, it reminds me instantly of Sea Hops. Like, it's, it's piney, it's grassy... There's a little bit of a uh, little bit of citrus in there, but this it does. There, it, like the pine kind of um, just even a floral thing. This reminds me of old school sea hops, like um, what do guys used to use, like Chinook, Centennial, stuff like that. This is a like big change from we just reviewed Double Galaxy, and this is so much different than that. But it's got this rad like sweet breadiness to it. But yeah, I just. This does. This this reminds me of drinking old school beer, and I'm not mad at it. So let's go ahead and taste it. Jeff, cheers. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I seriously could chug that beer right now. That is so clean, so light, and absolutely freaking delicious. This has to have... I, I can't wait to look this beer up when I'm done. This has to have old school hops. Um, cause there is this like pithy grapefruit, lemon, lime thing from the middle of your tongue to your finish. It, do it doesn't get crazy aggressive, but it's there. Um, it's floral, piney, pine cones. Um, yeah, grapefruity. <laughs> this is, I see why I want to chug this. Should we chug it? It's light. It's spritzy. Um, I feel like I'm just repeating myself with these Hill Farmstead reviews. It's like I said, every single one of them I had is, they're all world class. They're amazing. Pale ales, IPAs, double IPAs, like every single one of them, all of those styles have been flawless. Um, there's a little bit of sweetness on the finish. It's like bready, kind of crackery, super dry though. I mean, it's five, what do we say? 5.2%. 5. 5 I mean, ridiculously drinkable, crushable, all that stuff. Um, it's about 80 degrees today. Um, and this is a beer I would want to sit in my backyard while it's warm and just drink one after another, after another, after another. Um, I just love the old school vibes that I get with this. I could be wrong. It could be all new. School. It's going to be like fucking Mosaic and Strata. And <laughs> no, I just, it, this does, this reminds me of old school beer and the fact that he can still do this in a flawless way in 2020 just 
it makes my pants fit funny. It's absolutely fantastic. One of the best American pale ales I've had. It's, that's, I mean, that's the way it goes. Sorry if you don't agree. It's okay to be wrong. I can't imagine anyone would say this beer is bad. I just, I can't. Something's wrong with you if you don't like this beer. Maybe you don't like the style. Even if you don't like the style, you would drink this and be like, fuck, that's good. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, another world-class beer from Hill Farm said, we're a broken record when it comes to these reviews and I'm not mad at it. So Jeff, I appreciate you, brother. Uh, that is Edward. That is absolutely delicious. I love just the lingering like lemon lime grapefruit pith that's just sitting on my tongue with that piney floral grassy thing. It's awesome. Awesome, awesome stuff. So I'm out of here, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. See you very soon. Cheers. Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade. All that shit. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe.